here's a fun theory. You lure me out into the field and then you stab me in the back. And that's a theory I don't want to test. I never stab anyone in the back. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 times TV backstabbers got what they deserved. This is the age of steel, and I am its creator. For this list, we'll be going over the occasions when treacherous TV characters received fitting punishments for their deceit, whether it be death or merely an ironic or proper fate. Beware of major spoilers ahead. If there's a deserving TV traitor that you feel betrayed wasn't on our list, feel free to hit us with some sharp tongued comments down below. Number 10. Shane's Betrayal Backfires – The Walking Dead Serving as Rick's ex-partner in the sheriff's office, Shane has stabbed Rick in the back in oh so many ways. Brother, brother, this is not the way you do this. We'll never get out of here. First, he left him for dead when he was comatose in the hospital. Then, he slept with his wife. And he also tries to kill Rick on several occasions. But his final betrayal goes wrong for him big time. Convinced that he deserves everything Rick has, Shane decides to kill his friend. So this is where you plan to do it. Good place as any. The two meet in an isolated area. After Shane is convinced to let his guard down, Rick gets close enough to stab Shane. It's fitting that a man determined to stab or shoot his friend in the back gets killed this way. Plus, his reanimated zombie body gets put down soon afterward. Number 9. Saffron is dumped. Firefly. Saffron is one of many aliases of a con woman whose favorite swindle is to marry a guy and then take him for all he's worth. So, you guys have met. She turns to Captain Mal Reynolds, one of her many husbands, for help with the lucrative job robbing another one of her spouses. What do you mean she ain't my wife? She ain't your wife because she's married to me. The plan is to smuggle the valuable laser pistol out in the trash. Naturally, Saffron double crosses Mal and leaves him naked in the desert. However, he and his crew counted on her treachery. When she's digging through garbage, Inara holds her at gunpoint. Where is it? Ah, it's not here! Looking for this? With the authorities closing in, it's appropriate that Saffron is double crossed and left with the rest of the rubbish. Number 8. John Lumick gets an upgrade. Doctor Who. When the Doctor and friends travel to a parallel universe, they're surprised to find everyone wearing advanced ear pods. These are the creations of John Lumick, a dying tech genius whose innovations hide a sinister motivation. The world below can party. Some of us have work to do. My plans have advanced, Peter. He soon enacts plans to forcibly convert the population of this alternate Britain into Cybermen, emotionless cyborgs that are some of the Doctor's worst foes in his universe. If we survive this, I'll see you back at the TARDIS. That's a promise. Lumic betrays his country and even his humanity. However, he's unwilling to convert himself until his health fails completely. When one of his own creations decides to forcibly upgrade him into the Cyber Controller, it's hardly surprising. And it's exactly what he deserved after doing the same to so many people. No! Number 7. Horik is dethroned by Ragnar. Vikings. The titular Norse warriors betray each other so frequently on this show that there's no shortage of backstabbers to choose from. And they say that you are now an earl in your own right. How did it happen? I killed my husband. While Jarl Borg's infamous Blood Eagle punishment was tempting, at least he was worthy of Valhalla. Not so the man responsible for Borg's feud with Earl Ragnar Lothbrok. King Horik's selfish machinations caused plenty of issues for Ragnar. Horik even tries to turn several of Ragnar's inner circle, Floki and Siggy, against him during an attempt to kill Ragnar in his home of Kattegat. He's difficult to kill. Perhaps the gods are protecting him. You must find a way to kill him. 
However, much to our satisfaction, it's revealed that Floki and Siggy remain loyal and betrayed Horik's plans to Ragnar, letting the cunning Viking flip the script on Horik to kill him and take his crown, or rather, his sword. No, King Horik. I only betrayed you. Number 6. Geta and Zarek are fired. Battlestar Galactica. Furious over their leader's collaboration with rebel Cylons, the artificial foes that have made them interstellar refugees, Lieutenant Felix Geta and Vice President Tom Zarek lead a coup. We can't move on until people have answered for what they've done. They take over the titular warship and Zarek executes most of the civilian leaders. They plan to have Admiral Adama executed for supposed treason. Giving aid and comfort to the enemy and gross dereliction of duty. The punishment for these crimes is death by firing squad. However, both of them underestimate the crew of the Galactica, who rescue Adama and retake the ship. The two ringleaders are then executed by firing squad, just as they planned for Adama. Geta may have been naive, and Zarek was a monster, but if you try to kill Adama, you'd better be prepared for when you fail. Not if, when. Madam President, this is the Admiral. Stand down. I repeat, Galactica secure. Stand down. Number 5. Jack is interrupted by Walt. Breaking Bad. Nothing happens until I hear you say it. I want this. Walter White has a lot of regrets, but one of his biggest has to be getting involved with neo-Nazi Jack Welker. You're the smartest guy I ever met. And you're too stupid to see. He made up his mind ten minutes ago. Jack kills Walt's brother-in-law Hank and steals his buried money to boot, though he does leave him some. Jack eventually comes to regret leaving Heisenberg alive. Nearly a year later, Walt returns and uses an elaborate contraption and a machine gun to take down Jack's gang. Heavily wounded, Jack assumes Walt wants to know where his money is, but Walt interrupts him with a bullet, just like Jack did to Hank. You want your money, right? You wanna know where it is? Number 4. Soldier Boy Gets Payback on Payback. The Boys. Throughout Season 3 of this superhero satire, we follow Soldier Boy, a Captain America analog, seek revenge on his teammates in the superhero group Payback. Do you mind telling us what we're walking into here? Yeah? All you gotta know is, if he tries to make eye contact with you, close your eyes. Although he led the team, they turned him over to the Russians. It soon becomes clear that they did this because Soldier Boy was far from a paragon of justice. The hero frequently mistreated his teammates and sabotaged his teammates' careers. I was born to play Axel Foley. Why would you say all those horrible things about me to Don Simpson? But they regretted turning on him once he escaped imprisonment. By the end of the season, Soldier Boy kills nearly every single team member that betrayed him. The only one he didn't slay was fittingly slaughtered by his son Homelander. In the end, the team's attempt at getting payback was their undoing. I gotta get out of here. Okay. Untie me right now. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill all of us. Number 3. Michael is outplayed. Peaky Blinders. For much of the final season of Peaky Blinders, Michael Gray is at odds with his cousin, Tommy Shelby. She always said it won't be a bullet that will kill Tommy Shelby. Michael blames Tommy for the death of his mother, mostly falsely, and works with Boston gangsters against him. There will be a war, and one of you will die, which one I cannot tell. It's hardly the first time he's gone against the family either. In the finale, Michael plants a bomb in Tommy's car when the two meet on an island off the coast of Canada. When it goes off, Michael assumes he has killed his cousin at last. However, Tommy had his buddy Johnny switch the bomb to Michael's ally's car. I switched the ticker like you said, Tom. Tell me I've done a good thing here, Tom. 
This lets Tommy get the drop on Michael and end their feud permanently. He should have known better than to try to dance with the devil. Number 2. Grant Ward is Crushed, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. One of the most fascinating and hateable Marvel villains, Grant Ward is a former agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. as well as a secret mole for HYDRA. I know. This is weird. Mistakes were made. By you. And people got hurt. By you. His betrayals of his former team are many, including trying to kill several of them and killing several other agents. However, his murder of Coulson's girlfriend drives the hero into enough rage to pursue Ward even onto an alien planet. I'll be damned. Tatooine. While there, the two engage in a final showdown, and Coulson crushes Ward's chest with his mechanical hand. And then Ward gets possessed by an inhuman monster. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. I'll be damned. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Littlefinger is silenced at last. Game of Thrones. Everyone and their mother betrays everyone and their mother on Game of Thrones. While most get their comeuppances, and as tempted as we were to discuss the catharsis of seeing winter come for House Frey, come on. My name is Arya Stark. I want you to know that. The last thing you're ever going to see is a Stark smiling down at you as you die. We all know it had to be Littlefinger. Mr. Chaos is a Ladder betrays anyone and everyone to climb higher. After driving a wedge between the Stark sisters, Peter Baelish is so smug at an apparent trial for Arya's crimes. Alright then. Get on with it. That's why it's so satisfying watching his face when Sansa reveals it's a trial for him. His misdeeds are laid out on the table for all to see. You conspired with Cersei Lannister and Joffrey Baratheon to betray our father Ned Stark. Thanks to your treachery, he was imprisoned. And it must be fate that the man who held a knife to her father's throat had his own cut by Arya. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.